everybody welcome to the Vitruvian life today is Saturday June June already June 5th June 5th um, uh, interesting day interesting day um, this morning I got a message uh, a text message from uh, QVAX it is called and this is a service that you can subscribe on uh, if you want to be on the reserve list for a vaccination here in Antwerp or in Belgium at least even uh, and uh, I got a message that there was a vaccine uh, waiting for me instead of having the official uh, invitation I could already go and I was so happy folks but I had only an hour to say that I was that I was willing to get that vaccine and that I would make it there because I had to be there in an hour so uh, I said okay let's do this and away I went oh boy first vaccine is done one more to go July 8 wow great this feels so good because now we find there's finally something real that's telling me things are going to get a little bit more to normal soon <sighs> so happy uh, in case you're wondering I got uh, myself a, a Pfizer vaccine in case you're wondering so very happy uh, it was arranged really well here in Antwerp um, so many people working there to help the people that were going there was a lot of people going and coming and going and coming uh, there but it was it went so smooth every corner you had to take or everything you had to do someone was there just telling you now you have to go here and now you have to go there and just sit here and and now you wait there for 15 minutes and you can go oh it was great it went so smooth I also went to the hairdresser that was uh, necessary as well and uh, well I got some uh, some games this week in the mailbox or not in the mailbox but uh, at a pickup point um, I talked about the key last time right uh, Haba game and uh, I think uh, Gary responded to that that he liked it uh, that wasn't very different each play uh, but before I saw that response I uh, I ordered them so these are the games that I was talking about the key series of Haba this is a uh, well, this kind of a mystery solving game where you have a bunch of cards in the middle of the table. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see it like this. And you, well, you have to pick cards and then it gives you a clue. You write your clue down, you keep the clue. So that's the, that clue is your own. And depending on which uh, solution there is, uh, it's, it's depicted by a key in a color. Uh, so you have to take cards with that color and uh, depending on the color you get a you want to find a certain combination of three uh, three baddies and uh, other things uh, so you have to make a combination of two for those three people what they did and when they did it or whatever and uh, well it's 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 their light games their haba ages eight and up they say uh, but I'm curious it looks good uh, so I guess I'm going to try one as soon as I can and um, if I like it I might try a second one if I don't like it uh, this would be a great present for uh, uh, if, if, if a kid of someone uh, has a birthday or something so hey who knows so that's something new we have three uh, they're the Dutch versions so this is Sabotage in Lucky Llama Land Murder in the Oakdale Club which is uh, the only one with the medium level difficulty it's also a little bit more adult team because it's about a murder uh, I think the other ones well the one here is uh, uh, sabotaging uh, I guess some rides in a amusement park and this is the uh, I'm not sure how it's called in, in English this one um, but it's about people's uh, robbery in Cliff Rock Villa or Cliff Rock Mansion I don't know what the English version uh, is called uh, so two starter levels and one medium level uh, I'm curious to find out how this really plays uh, all right I didn't think this true of how to put this out of the camera a little bit right the other thing uh, the other game I got um, 
The dates were a little bit mixed on websites and when they, it was going to be uh, available, uh, I pre-ordered it a while ago. It was my number one most anticipated game of this year, if you didn't see that list that I made about my top 20 releases of this year that were known by that time. There are some new releases already announced that are pretty exciting, by the way. Uh, but this was my number one and uh, I picked it up. The Initiative by uh, Cory Kanitska, uh, famous for his fantasy flight games, but he now has his own studio called um, Unexpected Games. This is a one to four cooperative game where in you're playing teenagers in 1994, they find a mysterious game called The Key, I think. Was it the key? It might be the key, uh, which is funny because these, <laughs> these are called the key. Um, and well, they play the game and they discover it is strangely connected to their lives. So what are the secrets of the initiative? Question mark, question mark. Uh, this looks pretty cool. I've heard it's not too heavy either, uh, but that's the way I am playing now. Uh, Family style games uh, are my jazz at this moment. Although we've played Terraforming Mars yesterday uh, and we played a com complete game of it with me and Elisa. That doesn't happen too much. Uh, we had to finish, uh, we had to stop another game, I think Thursday or Wednesday, because Inara uh, <laughs> asked for our attention. She, she had a rough evening that day, I guess. Uh, I'm very excited for this one. Now this is an English version and it is kind of language dependent because you're trying to, to solve uh, some riddles and you are looking for words, for example, uh, but they're in English. So I'm not sure um, who I'm going to play this with. I have some people in mind, but I guess I... Oh, I'm so excited to play this, but I might have to hold on until uh, all those people are vaccinated as well so we can play this in a normal way. With the attention that this game deserves although i want to talk uh, play this and talk about it sooner but we'll see we'll see what what we'll do the last thing that i have is not a game um i bought a uh, used well used I, i'm not sure if it's really used it is put together <laughs> and it has been shown on the youtube channel uh, uh the raymond from board game heaven he uh, sold some inserts on facebook and uh I was too late. He sold this uh, version two of the Nemesis insert also for the expansion. And I said, ah, too late. And he said, I still have the version one of the base game. So uh, here it is. And the easy thing about this is it's already assembled because he sent it to me assembled because he shows how to, he shows it being assembled on his uh, channel, uh, which is perfect for me. I don't have the time to assemble too much. So uh, this has been assembled as well. Uh, also, this week I got the insert for the uh, Red Skull uh, box for uh, Marvel Champions, which I the folded insert, which I put together uh, this week as well. But that's somewhere. That's I think it's downstairs somewhere. And that's about it. That's uh, what happened in that uh, in this week. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I it feels like I'm starting to get a little bit back into normalish life with the time and stuff like that. Not completely, not completely at all, but still there is some improvement and uh, that's awesome. Uh, tonight is my uh, mother-in-law's birthday, so we're going to have a nice dinner uh, at my uh, in-law's place. We're going to eat Thai food great stuff. And besides that, I'm, uh, I'm thinking of doing something I've, I've shown Last time I showed you the Egyptian Kings uh, expansion for Empire of the North. And uh, I think I'm going to do something with Empire of the North. I'm, as I said, I was planning to do a playthrough. I don't have the time to do that today, sadly enough. Normally I would have, but sometimes, well, a lot of times plans changed. But I'm going to do something with these um, different factions. I'm curious to see. Um, um, so, but more about that later but I'm thinking about something that I want to do with this. Anywho, that's it for today, folks. I hope you're having a great, awesome weekend. And uh, I hope also your life is uh, going slowly, but surely back to normal. Hope you're getting your vaccine soon, if you haven't already. Uh, well, let me know in the comments, how is it going? What are your perspectives with the COVID stuff? Uh, next week in Belgium, the 9th, there will be uh, way less things that we have 
you cannot do in Belgium, but I'm a little bit afraid that that might make the numbers go up again. We'll see about that, but uh, let's hope for the best. Anywho, thank you for watching. I hope you're doing well. I thank you all for being here and I see you hopefully soon back here on the channel in the near future. Bye bye.